while priced almost exactly the same, Unit 208 is very different than 103. Only one floor up, it gets substantially more light, and it's at the end of the hall. It has a more open floor plan that's compartmentalized with the kitchen off from the living dining space. This window looks west uh, at an adjacent property. While that property is further away from the brick wall downstairs uh, and lets in more light, it does have less privacy and there's a trade-off for that. Otherwise, the configuration with a storage closet and the systems right by the front door is basically the same. However, this washer dryer is older and vented and the HVAC is newer. And you can see that it was installed in 2014. This kitchen is off of the main living space and can't really be reconfigured otherwise. So you wouldn't get that open concept that's trendy at the moment. <clears throat> it does, however, have more counter space and it's possible that trend will fade over time as people don't want grease particles on their furniture. The bedroom has two exposures. I pointed out this western one before, uh, but it also has a northern exposure. Both of the windows have a, a deep sill so that you can set it, set things on it. In the northern exposure, there is a fire department, which might make uh, prospective purchasers nervous for noise reasons, but fire departments have regulations where they don't they're not supposed to have their sirens on when they're coming in and out. The closet was larger than the other two closets, but has less capacity than both of them combined. And the bathroom is very comparable, except for the window is by the sink looking north rather than in the shower. Of course, the lobby is a low maintenance, low cost lobby uh, with packages out of a line of sight. And I would say it's quiet and climate controlled.